What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is another video of my carnivore meal prep or just the meals that I am making today because I have about a half an hour before I have to head off to work and I like doing my meal prepping all in one day and then that way throughout the week I can focus more on other things that I have to do and so I have a couple things that I'm going to be making today for the carnivore diet. This is actually um, I think I'm in my second week gonna be going into my third week in a couple days And so last week I just didn't end up getting to do a meal prep video I just kind of ate like some eggs and some pork chops that we cooked on the side plus I was eating some things at work And so I am doing this meal prep video again. This is actually going to be going into my third week But I will show you I have some pictures of what I looked like when and I'll just pop them over here but like I have a picture of my first, I think it was like day one or day two on carnivore. So I was still extremely bloated. And then just a couple days ago when it was my like one week of carnivore, I did an update. Plus that was the day that I actually even got my period, which was super crazy that like the bloating had gone down so much. So far, I wanted to update you guys on just like what I'm feeling right now on the carnivore diet. And I am gonna be doing a what I eat video as well. And so stay tuned for that if you wanna see like what I'm just eating eating in a day, but I've been feeling really, really great. I have a lot of energy. I've been working like nonstop. I've been getting like 17,000 steps at work every single day. And so that has been pretty crazy. I just literally like run all day long. I love that I'm hardly ever hungry. Like I can just eat um, a couple things. Like I don't even eat three meals a day. A lot of times I'm only eating like one meal a day, maybe two meals, but they're not even like huge. Like I feel so satisfied eating just the meat or the eggs or whatever I am eating and not being constantly hungry. Like I can go hours. And even when I am hungry, I'm never starving. It's almost, if you've been keto, like, you know, um, you know, you can go hours without food and then you're just like, okay, yeah, I could eat, you know, something like that. And so I am loving that so much. I haven't had any negative side effects to this other than the fact that I am a little just sad that, I mean, I like that I'm not cooking as much because it gives me time to do other things, but my degree is in culinary arts and I do love cooking. I enjoy it. And so I am, I don't know, I just miss having those like full on meals, you know, where you can like make really good vegetables and all that type of stuff. Like I love all food. And so I definitely wouldn't be able to do carnivore like forever, but I like having this as like a good reset. And then that way, when I do go back to eating vegetables, maybe I'll bring in a couple at a time and just see like if I'm reacting to them or not. But I do miss a little bit of like fresh foods. Like, you know, I would love to eat like a pickle right now or like a tomato or, you know, just something like that. And so that is like what I've been missing. Um, but other than that, I do still love meat. Now for this week, I really have been wanting to eat more seafood. Like I have been a little tired now of eggs and just like heavy meats in general, if you want to say that. And so I picked up a bunch of fish at the grocery store and some shrimp. And so I'm going to be making a package of fish today. I'm probably going to be making some shrimp. And I'm gonna be making tuna cakes that are coming out of this cookbook that I actually just got. I received this for free from the publisher and I am really glad that they sent it to me. I usually, you know, don't buy the keto books or any cookbooks really that aren't the like most popular ones. But this one I really, really like. I think it's only like 10 or $12 on Amazon and it's super easy, like literally, there are only a couple ingredients in each one. And so I just, I looked through this the other day, I just got it and I found a couple different recipes that are carnivore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook some recipes out of here. I'm gonna be making a sausage gravy that I thought I could have over like scrambled eggs or I mean literally anything, you can just eat it over anything. Um, but I'm gonna be using some lamb sausage that I just got from a local farmer because I went to a local farmer the other day. So I'm gonna be making that, so sausage and gravy, the tuna cakes which are out of this book as well, and then just the shrimp and the fish. I'm going to be cooking a big pork that I'm just shredding in the Instapot that I got from Butcher Box. And then I might be making like just a tiny bit of meatloaf and also pork liver. I got some pork liver at the farm. It was only like a dollar seventy for like a bunch of liver and I have it soaking in water and vinegar. 
because I heard that that gets more of the taste out. But I think we're gonna cook it in a bunch of bacon grease and hope that I don't throw up in the process of smelling it and having to eat it. Ugh. But you're supposed to eat your organ meats. It's healthy for you. And I wanna get as many nutrients as I can while I'm eating carnivore. So let's just go ahead and get started and make this food. So first off, I'm starting off with the pork butt that I got from Butcher Box, and I'm just adding it with some salt and some fresh garlic and a little bit of chipotle chili powder. And I just let that cook overnight for 12 hours. Now I'm using this lamb sage sausage that I just got from a local farm. And I am first just like browning it up in a pan and I'm going to be adding cream cheese, heavy cream, and just some salt and pepper to make it into a gravy. I didn't even have to add any thickener. The heavy cream just thickened after a couple minutes of cooking. And so this is going to be absolutely delicious. I'm excited to try this recipe. This is from that new cookbook that I showed you guys. And I have a link down below if you guys want to grab a copy for yourselves. Next up, I'm working on just putting some of the fish in the oven and I got the wild caught flounder and I'm just adding some butter and Old Bay and just sticking that in the oven until it's done. I just, I love fish pretty much plain so I don't really do anything special to it. Nothing fancy. I literally could just eat this whole thing by myself. Now I'm being brave and I'm cooking that pork liver. I did add some salt and pepper and a few other spices and I'm cooking it in bacon grease. I have no clue what it tastes like because I'm too afraid to try it at the moment, but I will try and update you guys next week when I do try it. Now we're going to be cooking some shrimp with just some butter and some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder, I believe. And of course it just turned out delicious because shrimp is amazing. Now this is another recipe from that cookbook and it's just four cans of tuna, some shredded cheese, two eggs, and some crushed pork rinds. And I'm making these into patties and just frying them in some lard and some butter. And so these became little tuna cakes and they're actually really, really easy and really delicious. They would be great with like salsa or just some type of sauce. I'll probably just put some mayo on top, even though mayo isn't entirely carnivore, but I would just love to have like an extra extra sauce for them. Now, instead of doing meatloaf, I decided to do some burgers and I'm just doing Worcestershire, salt and pepper and some onion powder. And I'm putting them in the cast iron pan. I'm just baking them in the oven and then I'm gonna top them with Swiss cheese once they're done. And then last but not least, but I made a bunch of deviled eggs. So these were just eggs I hard boiled in my Instapot and I just take out the yolks. I mix that with some mayo, Dijon mustard, some apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and then I top them with smoked paprika and that's about it. It's really easy to make deviled eggs and my husband and I love them. They're just a great easy snack to just grab out of the refrigerator whenever you're hungry. So here's what we're looking at for our meal prep for this week. So I have my lamb sausage gravy, which I think I'm gonna have over top of scrambled eggs. I think that would be delicious. I cooked up my pork liver, which I'm too afraid to even try a bite at the moment. I have a bunch of deviled eggs. I cooked up some shrimp, which just has like salt and pepper, butter, garlic, I think think is all I put on it and it's really really good I've been eating that I have just some burgers with Swiss cheese so I just had Worcestershire salt and pepper Swiss cheese this is just some what was what fish was this I forget like tilapia I had gotten a bunch of different kinds so I don't even remember which one I pulled out but this just has butter salt and Old Bay these are the tuna cakes that I made from that cookbook that I showed you guys, which is also where the gravy recipe is from. I just used lamb sausage instead of actual pork sausage. These I'm really excited about. Um, they're gonna be like really, really delicious. So I'm, I, I just like the idea of these instead of just always having salmon cakes. And then I have a big 
pot of shredded pork. It was a pork butt from Butcher Box, and I just cooked it, literally slow cooked it. I actually started this yesterday. And yeah, so that's that's my meal prep for this week of carnivore. I realize now being on like almost my third week of carnivore, like I'm not as hungry. Obviously my husband is going to eat some of this food, um, but I'm definitely not as hungry. Like in the very first week, definitely the first like four or five days, I was really hungry and I was just, I mean, I don't count calories or anything. So I just would eat as much as I wanted until I was full. But now I'm able to literally just go like, one meal a day, maybe two meals a day. Um, but like, I don't even eat like that huge amount of food. I'm so satisfied and I stay full for so long. Like I don't get hangry or anything like that. So we'll see how long this lasts. I might freeze like half of the pork, um, just so that way it doesn't like go bad throughout the week. Um, you know, I want to save it. I can save it for like next week or even when I go back to keto, um, but I'm pretty excited. I like that I did a lot more seafood this week just because I was getting a little tired of eating the same thing. And so depending upon how the seafood goes this week, I'll probably, I have like other like mahi mahi and stuff in the freezer. So the next week I'll do more seafood. Maybe I could do like a seafood chowder where it's just a bunch of seafood, some broth and like heavy cream. That would be really delicious. I love like clam chowder type of thing. So I need to remember to do that for next week. But that is all for this video. I am planning on doing a what I eat in a day. Hopefully this week I can get that out for you guys because I want to do two before I'm like done with carnivore. And I will try and like actually make things like I have um, some bacon in the, free in the fridge. And then I also have two ribeye steaks or not ribeye, like sirloin steaks. Um, that I want to make like fresh when my husband is home. And so maybe I'll just show like a full day of eating like when I'm at home and if I'm making like something fresh or when I'm drinking like my coffee and stuff like that. But it's not going to be anything like entirely special because like it's really easy to eat on carnivore. Like you're literally not eating super fancy things. You're just kind of eating meat and that's all you eat. So if you want to see what I eat Wednesday video or not even Wednesday, but like a what I eat video, then definitely let me know in a comment down below so I can make it for you guys. And again, if you like this meal prep video, definitely let me know because it seems like you guys are liking these and I like making them and I want to continue doing them. I was actually thinking of doing like a keto whole 30 maybe in... October, I'm, I might not do it for the full month of October, but I do want to do a keto whole 30. So if you want to see like meal prep videos for that, let me know. Um, but yeah, other than that, like after carnivore, I'm just going to go back to eating like keto and do regular keto meal prep videos. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.